What's going on, fishing freaks? Now, before we get going on today's video, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, YouTube has been a toughie lately on all of us, all the fishing channels, the outdoor channels, especially shooting channels, the trendies at the YouTubes uh, and Google. They uh, they don't like us too much, so they're they're starting to cut cut the AdSense dollars off our videos. So I just wanted to preface this by saying thank you guys for tuning in, watching sticking through the ads and whatnot just because that's how we fund a lot of these trips that we go on and I'm probably going to be doing some more um, ads and trying to bring in some more revenue in some different ways just to keep this channel going don't worry we're not going anywhere but I just wanted to say um, you know subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribe to my friends channels all the fishing channels outdoor channels um, support us everybody that you like anyway um, especially all my friends that I hang out with because uh, we're we're just trying to keep this going at this point because they are hitting us hard man It's uh, it's been tough and speaking of tough today's video is a bruiser If you guys don't remember the last time I went amberjack fishing It went a little something like this There's... Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, bro. I don't know what to do. That's, oh my gosh. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him. Oh, oh, dude. Oh. So I'm back down here again, going out with my boy Black Tip H and Outlaw, the Bilge Boys crew, and we're going after these Amber Jacks. There's only one problem the oceans have turned into a washing machine. So I just wanted to set this up for you guys. This has been one of the toughest days physically out on the water I've ever experienced. And I think everybody else will concur on this trip. So let's get rolling on the fishing action. Let me see, let me see, dude. Let's double check. What's going on? To fuel up on this trip, I got some kombucha this morning. Just because Ocean Spoon Girl told me it does, it does good things for your body. So, uh, honey, if you're watching, follow your advice. Saturates. And that's why we're gonna drop it down like that. Lots of weight, guys. We got some split rings attaching the weight to the snap, snap swivel. Gonna be good to go. Feeling confident, dude. We're gonna get some giant amber jacks. Ginorms! <laughs> Ginorm! Hold on. I think I might have forgot all my batteries for my camera, dude. I've experienced the power, but I you've also the experienced the failure. When, I, when a fish beats me, it makes me so happy because I know I have a worthy adversary out there. I love it. There you go, the Amberjack. It's defeated Black Tip H. And all you haters out there, you got your hater blockers on? You got them on? Dude. What do you got to say to all the haters that say that Amberjacks are easy? Let me tell you something about these Amberjacks here. You may think Amberjacks are easy when they're 20, 40 pounds. Those Amberjacks, 20, 40 pounders, would get eaten by these Amberjacks. These Amberjacks are giants, guys. Averaging 70 to 90 pounds with many fish over 100. If you think a 100 pound Amberjack is a joke, I invite you out. Come on, if, you, if you if you suck, it don't matter. It's going on. It's gonna be on YouTube, and the whole world will watch your big mouth close with humility. Put your money where your fish is. This ain't like going down to the pond and catching bass on frogs. This is big stuff. Bro, you got a dumbbell moving on there. Oh, okay. 
Got a jumbo blue. How does the bass compare to that? <laughs> this is like a four pound bass right here. Three pound bass? Four or five pound bass. This is probably a one pound bait. You gotta tail him, dude. What? The smallest AJ that eats at is 60 pounds. <laughs> I know. Dude, they're eating this got the live the the bag bag every single drop. You just toss it right in and they grab it. Is that a, no, that's not a Speedo, right? The Blue Runner. Blue Runner. Dead. Dead. Blue Runners. We're using Blue Runners and hopefully we'll get a few Speedos for these Amberjacks. That's going to be the key. Last time we used Jigs. The jigs were great. They ate them, but oh my gosh, so it didn't nice. allow us to put... Oh, yeah, really, dude. really heavy equipment on. on. And I think that's what we're going to have to do today. You guys are going to freak out at how big equipment we're going to have to use. Big waves. These waves are huge. As Donald Trump would say, huge. There they are. There they are. That's them right there. Hold on. We, we got to set up our drift now. <laughs> this is what I came for right here. See my man Outlaw get hooked up on a big AJ. See if he's extra tough. Extra, extra tough. I gotta take a tip, dude. When you hit bottom, you start jigging. Since the wind's blowing really hard and we got current, we're having to make a very precise drift over a fairly small area. So we only get like 30 seconds to jig before we gotta start the motor, get over yeah, on top of it. I thought a lot there. Make another no, drift. Time to go live. We're going live. Live bait yeah. that is. We're not biting these jigs. Super chat live? Super, Super chat? chat. Got the stance. Oh yeah! Black tip H going overboard. <laughs> All right, Justin. Beastmaster hooked up. Got a speedo on. Got to drop it down with four pounds of lead. Going to get her down, baby. Ah! We got a bait down there on the electric reel. Going to drift right over the track. Got the drag locked. Oh, 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 oh. Getting bit, getting bit. Fish on, fish on. Fish? Yes. Is he, is he on there? Oh! Hop the braid, dude. Yeah, there's too much drag. Hop the braid. God dang. <laughs> <laughs> dude, those are big boys down there. Way too much drag. Dude, he was pulling drag. Pulling drag? He was pulling drag, yes. Oh, These things are animals. That's, that's, that's 90 pound braid. Oh, it's not. Those fish. <laughs> okay. I'm going full. All right, fishing freaks. Okay, so guys, I'm that Amberjack just I'm broke. Gonna, 90 pound braid like with 55 pounds of drag. Pulling drag. Dude, he was pulling drag, dude. Davis, you get all that? Like, like, this smooth? I told you guys, this, these fish are no joke. You got, you got no snapped? joke. Yeah. What did you think about what just happened there? My goodness, dude. That uh, didn't last very long. I knew we were gonna run into this. We were gonna try with the jigs. Uh, they weren't eating the jigs, but there's just no way, guys. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna hook up the 130. Now the 130 is what they literally catch big bluefin tuna, giant marlin, the big, big fish on. So we're gonna use that for these amberjacks. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Oh man, that's a whale. Watch out for this wave. I'm going on the pit. Well, oh man. So here's the story. Been trying to catch these amberjacks. They're just whipping our butts left and right. They're not biting, dude. They're just staying, they're staying down there. I think they're spawning. I think they're in that, they're in that time zone where they want to be spawning, not eating. There's other fish down there, but these amberjacks are just, they're just not doing it. We had that one big one load up destroy us <laughs> and uh that's been kind of it did that did that bring back some memories there justin it did <laughs> brought back immediate memories <laughs> of failure i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm i'm upset like i'm pissed at these fish 
I want to get my hands on one. I've been waiting for a year to get back down here and catch one of these things, and they're just tearing us a new one. And often you guys don't see the frustrating part of making these fishing videos. You know, I'm very positive, as you guys know, trying to uh, just stay positive on this channel all the time. But I'm pretty pissed right now. I want to get one of these one of these things in my hand. I would love for all three of us to be holding this thing up. Yeah. But I don't care who catches it, dude. I don't, I don't care. I don't care if the electric reel catches it at this point. No. I just want to see one. It's like almost like a mystery fish. It's got a big question mark on it because we know it's down there, but no one can get it up. This is not what I wanted I'm to be doing. pretty sick right now, I'm not going to lie. And Josh is about to blow chunks all over the place, getting super sick. So morale is down. We're just going to keep if it the real. the fish are biting, guys, I, I, I don't care how sick I get, but the fact is... Jeez. A very crappy bite and uh giant waves it's ridiculously tough. huge waves i've never fished in waves this big guys ginormous. We, got, we just had a 10 foot wave go by us rocking us all over the place it's not good it's just not good we're gonna try to formulate a plan to get something going here for you guys but right now it's like it's low hopes and i'm pissed Tough day on the ocean out here. Hold on, dude. Let this pass. One, let, one more pass? No. He said, let this pass. He wants to go in. Oh, God. <laughs> Way worse. <laughs> First one was a breeze compared to this one. Oh, my gosh, man. Yo, we're on a wee line right now. Get some bait hit. Yo, let's drift in, dude. Let's drift in. Seriously? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? It, what is going on in this day right now? <laughs> oh, wow. We are not happy to get back. Yeah, guys, it's super this rough out here. Sucks. <laughs> Woo! Wee! Man. Oh! Oh! Oh, did he crush it? Oh my gosh, he crushed it! Okay, we got some activity. Oh, oh look at him go. Like a smallmouth. He's down it. Dude, that water is so clear, man. Here he is. He's got some shoulders on him. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna land it. That's it, that's, that's cool. Oh, there he oh. goes. There he goes. He pulled the hook. There he goes, guys. There he goes. Broke the line, but that was fun. That was definitely better than, uh, was, uh, Not catching know, anything. He's got it. Let me, 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 let me. He's big, bro. Here, go, go under me, go under me. He's eating it, he's eating it, he's eating it. I saw him. Black to beige. Ringtone. Who's getting it? Let me, let me, let me. Got him? Hooked up? Let me, let me, let me. Who's up? Who's up? Who's up? Who's up? Who's up? Come on, come on. Justin, grab it, grab it, grab it. I like it. I'm liking it. We're hooked up. I'm liking it. Yeah. Oh, baby! Sure. Sure. What do we got here? That was a big blue runner, too. He's coming. There he goes. Little coods. Here, you want to lip him? Yeah, yeah. 14 pounds? Yeah, 14 pounds. Imagine what a 15 pounds can do. Just caught a cuda. That was cool. We're just doing some trolling right now. We got jacks, we got cudas. Uh, not really sure what else is in here to be honest with you but we're just kind of trolling it is so much nicer to not be rocking around and uh, losing our balance and throwing up so this is much more enjoyable the fishing offshore has been just super super tough pretty sure that's ocean spinning girls dream house right there we got a few more uh dollars to make before we get there to that point sorry honey you tossed me the rod up here there you go oh sweet what do we got here it's already, it's already ready to go. Let, let him do his thing. Oh, I see the sardine. There he is. Yeah. Put it, uh, reel it up a little bit. You want him to go, want him to go down more. Ready? Let him eat, let him eat, let him eat. Let him eat. You got, you got him, bro. Reel. Reel, 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 Oh, bro, it's a big snook. Catfish? <gasps> Catfish, baby. Oh, you went for Cat the snook. Yeah. Baby, the kitty, man. How did I have a feeling that was going to happen? Let's get him. Here, yeah, we can eat him, bro. Let's harvest him. All right, guys. 
Yeah, well, you take the hook out, bro. Could catch a bigger net in Texas. How did that feel? Oh, it sucks. Ooh, almost got me. Beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give him a kiss. Yeah, give, him a yeah, kiss. Yeah. give him a kiss, dude. Smell All right. him. Smell him. What's he smell like? Smells like a catfish. That's probably how we're gonna end this day. It's with a catfish, guys. <clears throat> yeah. That was a rough day, guys. Have you ever had a rough day like that? Like that big of waves and just rocking around like physically very hard. When you try to get up the next morning and do it all over again. Whew. So let me know in the comments, what is the, the worst situation wave-wise that you've ever been in? I know there's some of the Great Lakes guys watching this video right now. I know some of you offshore guys are probably going, oh, you bass guys don't know anything. And I've never seen my boy Blacktip H get that sick. That boy spends a lot of time on the big ocean and he was hurting. So that is it for today's video, guys. It certainly was a brutal washing machine out there and I can't believe I didn't actually throw up. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. Hit the thumbs up for that. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're catching some Mondo fish today or tomorrow or in their near future and not tossing your cookies. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you on the next adventure.